One of the most interesting cases I think I've handled in my career involves a case where I represented a woman in her mid-90s who was very wealthy, uh, but she never married and never had any kids. Throughout her life, she had relied on a gentleman who she had known for decades to help her out at her house and help her with various things that she needed in terms of maintenance and also in terms of bookkeeping. What she learned, unfortunately, um, is that he had stolen from her um, and stolen from her a lot of money. It was just by complete luck that she found out because she received in the mail information regarding a joint bank account that he had opened between her and him that she obviously never knew about. She had her advisors follow up on that bank account and learned that the bank account had about $600,000 in it. That started us on an odyssey uh, through which we determined that he had stolen $11 million from her over a period of probably 10 years, and he had moved it into dozens of bank accounts. She hired me to represent her to try to get her money back. We immediately got the FBI involved and the U.S. Attorney involved and filed a civil lawsuit against him. We froze all of his bank accounts and were eventually able to recover for her about $8 million of the $11 million. It was a fascinating case um, in dealing with his motivations for stealing the money, certain jealousies that he had, reasons why he stole the money interesting in terms of trying to track the money and where it went and how he tried to hide it. Ultimately, I was happy that we were able to recover the money for her, although she didn't need it to live. Um, it was not right that the man who she had trusted for many years had stolen from her.